Well, that's been an almost zero to hero turnaround in the past 24 hours. From $25,000 of fines to 25 points for the win. Lando Norris is a Grand Prix winner. He's an F1 race winner. Both the McLaren drivers have now won a race in F1. Lando did it in the Grand Prix. And, well, I think it's probably the best race I've seen in Miami. And we only have Kevin Magnussen to thank with his timeless amount of time penalties. Kevin Magnussen, who seems to be trying to fulfill my preseason prediction of one driver getting a race ban after he got into Logan Sargent, the Florida man, being sent back to Fort Lauderdale a bit early over the course of today. But realistically, this was a race where McLaren looked like it was going to have the upper hand, or more, Red Bull had the lower hand. Look at the fact that Lewis Hamilton was able to challenge Sergio Perez for most of that second half of the race. That McLaren was running well, but Mercedes is also running well, and the Red Bull was not. I mean, it was to the point that Sonoda and Russell, whilst they were a bit further back than Hamilton and Perez, weren't, you know, dropping massively off the back constantly. Lewis Hamilton, who was complaining about the bollard that Verstappen wiped out, saying, it's gone, so I don't know where the chicane is. He managed to keep it on the island long enough to get his first uh, top six in, did I hear, eight races? That was a really good performance by Lewis for today, and he outperforms George Russell again, even though I think Russell outqualified Lewis. Now that start of the sprint, um, that was brave. That was audacious, and I can see why Lewis didn't get a penalty for it. At the end of the day, the contact between the two Aston Martins, which took Lando out as a result, happened before Lewis barreled into the corner. Um, so you can't say, oh, Lewis is at fault, because if it was Lewis hit Fernando, hit Lance, hit Lando, then you could. But, <laughs> yeah, I can't believe that he managed to get a drive through penalty for speeding in the pit lane when they were passing through the pit lane under safety car. And that, that was actually quite impressive. But strange things have happened in F1 including, on his 110th race start, Lando Norris picking up a race win. Finally. I'm presuming that's what the expletive was doing, a, you know, Kimi Raikkonen reference. That that would probably be the way to make sense of it. Elsewhere, Alonso got a ninth place in the end, which, given all of the drama he's had over the past couple of sprint weekends, good for him. And Ocon gets Alpine their first point, though... Given how lap one was going with the Grand Prix, I wouldn't have been surprised if neither of the Alpines made it to the end. They almost put each other into the wall. Hulkenberg 11th. Yeah, it's a kind of what could have been for Haas. Points in both the races, potentially, and then... Magnussen thought that the penalties were Pokemon. And Hulkenberg just... Struggled. He just struggled. There's no other way about it. Now, this is all going to be kinds of different comments that come up after this. Um, I think one thing is clear, though, which is that F1 seems to be healing. Because last season, we only had one race, not won by a Red Bull. This season, look, I know that uh, <laughs> it's been some freak circumstances, but in the first six races, only two thirds of them have been won by uh, Max Verstappen. We could be happy with that, I think. I hope. Thanks for watching, folks. I hope to see you again soon. Bye for now.